Hey guys, Justin here coming at you in the new year with new videos. We're in the 3x3 test tent. We've got a new light here from MaxiSun. It's the MG3000. This is a nice little light for this space. It really should do well. So let's, uh, let's find out. Let's get into it. There we go. Check it out. So it's another standard bar light. This one does not fold which is small enough you really don't need it to fold but the bars are really thick on it let's take a closer look all right so the uh, the light itself is pretty heavy for being one of these bar lights it's actually really really sturdy feels super sturdy covers the space really nice as you can see these bars are thick too check this out there's a lot of diodes stacked on there. Nuts, man. And you can see the uh, the waterproof coating on there a little bit. But yeah, you've got uh, four bars of Samsung diodes. And then on the back here, we've got a uh, Meanwell driver on the back. Here's the... Uh, the driver. I'll try not to touch the uh, diodes on the other side. So ELGC 300-H-AB. That's a mouthful. So that's the uh, driver that it's going to come with. And then we've got the uh, the manual here for the MG3000 series. And this shows the, uh, kind of like their whole family here. They started with the, uh, the PBs, the peanut butters, you guys remember that, I reviewed those. And then we got the, the MFs, the bad MFs, you know, remember that, I reviewed those. And now we got the MG, so advancing, things are moving forward. This is all safety info on the first page here. Here's some uh, par mapping, spectrum, suggested uh, hanging heights and whatnot, specifications. If you want to take a closer look at any of this stuff, feel free to pause and read it out. Just going to burn through it here as quick as possible. Mounting suggestions using suggestions those could be interesting all right warranty 180 days full warranty three years limited warranty 90 days money back guarantee do 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 They will repair or replace any covered defective product. Within the first 180 days, they bear all costs. After 180 days, the customer will assume, uh, will assume responsibility for shipping the product. And will in turn... Wow. Maxison will in turn assume liability for up to $50 per light. The shipping fees associated with the warranty repaired. Purchaser, return shipping fees. Alright, so basically, that's a lot of words. It's a lot of words. Uh, for 180 day warranty, or you have to pay some money. That's pretty much what that is. Uh, so, yeah. It's a good thing it has Samsung diodes and a meanwhile driver. And those don't fail very often because you only get basically 180 days. Uh, the three years limited, it sounds like it's really just uh, parts. Like, uh, pretty much a parts warranty. So, I mean, it's kind of uh, par for the course for a lot of the lights that are out there right now, but I would definitely like to see it change in the future to a full on warranty. There's all their info there. Uh, discount code below also if you do want to pick one of these up or one of their other lights 
Uh, then we've got this uh, little accessory box here. We got baby katana. So let's take a look and see what is inside the accessory box. Rope ratchets. It's kind of what I figured. And we've got metal gear on the rope ratchets. I don't know if you can see that there. What else we got in the box of goodies here? Power cord. Yep. Power cord and a hanging kit. So we got your standard power cord and a pretty standard wire hanging kit with the uh, carabiners. Pretty cool. So let's get this sucker hooked up and get some par pushing. Alright, we are back and we've got everything hung and fired up. Really easy to hang. You got your standard carabiner set up. Hooks up to the, uh, the little rings here. Super simple. No, uh, no mess, no fuss. Pretty cool. And take a look at these bars, man. Because that is some thickness. There's some thick boys out here. She looking thick. So it looks like we got like basically like a 2 to 1 ratio. Cool white to warm white. Or warm white to cool white, I should say. More warm than cool. Then we got some reds sprinkled throughout. Looks like maybe some infrared right there. Yeah, that's going to be infrared. Another one right there. So it does have some infrared. So it's got 660 reds, cool white, warm white, and infrared. Pretty nice uh, loadout. Look at the driver again there. We got the dimmer over on the side over here. Just hooks up with the uh, cord here out to everything. You can see the uh, four corner par reading right now. We are at uh, 21 inches off the deck, which is gonna be a 20 inch canopy because the sensors are about an inch tall. So right now we're at the minimum. It looks like it's pushing about uh, 28 watts. Uh, about 60 par to the corners. We can crank that up a little bit and see. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> that was off. Let's see where we go here. Let's get to the uh, clones. There we go. And that's going to be where we're at for clones and uh, seedlings. About 57 watts. It's hard to get this around to the side here to see where the the knob is at, but I'll try and get you over there. So that's where it's at right now. And if we keep going, try and get to veg. for veg about three three fifty around three fifty ish you can go four hundred you know a little bit lower I've vegged with as little as like two fifty but they get kind of lanky with that so this is a, a pretty good range to do it right here and uh, the difference in the uh, the corners like this one literally has no reflection whatsoever here you can see even if I put my hand it makes it go up a little bit and then this one's got pretty good reflection that one too and that one too so this is the the weak corner that's why it's a little lower than the rest of them but we're looking at uh, 163 watts <coughs> yeah 163 watts for veg let's get over here and see where the knob is there's the knob position There we go. Cool. 
Well, let's see, uh, see how far we can go here. See where we hit flower. About 600. Wow. There we go. Oh, that's actually all the way up. So, wow, it's perfect. <laughs> this is about as, as uh, minimal as you could go for a 3x3 three three and still flower it effectively. But it works. It really does work. I flowered with 500 par. It makes nice buds. 600, of course, is better. 7, 800. 900 is when you get those big, fat, chunky, chunky chunkers. But you get plenty of bud with five to 600 par. It's enough for most people. It really is. Uh, this, is uh, this is pretty good, 287 watts. We're able to flower a three by three with less than 300 watts with this fixture. That's pretty nice, I gotta say. That's a pretty good deal. Not bad whatsoever. Let's take a, uh, a center reading here. I, didn't, I guess I didn't really do a center reading for the other ones. It's been a while since I did a video. <laughs> I took a bit of a break, man. I was burnt after that Black Friday week. Holy crap. All right, so we're 876 in the middle. So that's perfect, man. 876 in the middle. 600 in the corners. You're good. You're golden. Check the edge there. 650. Let's throw it to the back side there if it'll reach. Get back there. Ah, there we go. 690. Six thirty-four, and then the side up here with no, no real reflection. Five seventy-seven, right there. So yeah, pretty kick-ass, man. Pretty kick-ass. Let's go back down to uh, like veg, and I'll show you the center reading for veg. about right there yeah about right there so 514 in the middle on veg so not bad a lot of people like to flower with four or five hundred anyway not me I prefer uh, 400 350 even I'll even go as low as 300 honestly save power and sometimes you veg too fast and then you run out of space so that's, that's a problem that I have a lot of times, is just vegging too fast and then running out of space. So it's kind of nice to be able to, to change that a little bit. But yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty sick, man. This light, uh, it kicks ass. I, I was thinking it was going to be pretty good for a 3x3, three three, and uh, it is. It is. I mean, it's not overpowering by any means, but it's not underpowered either. Let's bust out the uh, spectrometer. We'll take a uh, spectral reading here. See what our spectrum looks like. There we are. That's on 626 PPFD. You can see the little bump there at 740 for infrared, bump at 660 on the red. It's got a lot of yellow and greenish hues to it. Definitely. Could use a little bit more red in my opinion. Definitely could. But not bad as far as overall power. It definitely could be a very good veg or flower light. It's very full spectrum. It's got the red bumps, so I mean it is going to be able to flower, don't get me wrong. But it could have more. Like it could have more, no doubt. See the mix of red to blue. You're like two to one, just like what I was saying. Like a two to one ratio, red to blue. 
So yeah, pretty slick. About the only thing left to do now is let it uh, warm up and we'll take the heat reading and uh, we'll wrap it up. So I will be right back. All right, we've let this warm up for about an hour or so. Let's take some heat readings. See what we're looking at. It's like a high of 108 across the whole fixture. 109, 108.8. This front bar. Oh, we got 110 on that one. Get a little closer. What's this one say? 110. Try and keep it the same distance because distance does matter some. There we go. And 111 over on the edge bar. That's the one in, in the hottest corner of the tent. The uh, driver does not look hot at all though. 102. Yeah, 103 on the sides there yeah not bad at all there's no extreme hot spots anywhere everything's really where it should be as far as the heat not too bad and really low too being 110 111 that's low low and even with the uh, the hand test this is yeah I mean there's right there I can hang my the the baby bottom part of my arm there no issue at all it's it's just warm the driver's even cooler like this fixture is a really really good thermally that's for sure and it covers a 3x3 three three. I think we've got a new uh, recommendation for a 3x3 three three light here this is pretty sweet for those of you that are looking for it I know a lot of people out there uh, hit me up about what's the best budget 3x3 three I mean, this may not be like ultra budget, but it's not ultra expensive either for the space. So definitely check it out. We got the uh, links below if you want to check it out. Discount codes and all that stuff. I've got all my discount codes down there. I got my merch store down there. I got all kinds of stuff in the links below. Hopefully you guys had a great holiday season and a great new year. I had a great break. It was awesome. I'm back now. I got about 20 lights to review. They're going to be coming like crazy. So here we go, guys. Till next time, happy growing.